Right. Uh, by now, there's a heck of a lot of uh, Echo Show smart speakers out there, uh, ranging from, uh, you know, little ones like this, uh, right up to the big granddaddy of them all, uh, the Echo Show 15, which is a great big sort of digital photo frame. It even works as a Fire TV if you want. It's got big speakers at the back uh yeah it's a beast uh but while some of those uh echoes will work as uh, smart home hubs uh they're not always the most intuitive to use uh and perhaps don't have uh, the most well set out uh display or home screen Sometimes they're just not the right shape or size uh, to use the way you want to use it. And that is why uh, Amazon has now brought us uh, the Echo Hub. And so this is a much smaller device. And as you can see, it's really just a flat panel. And you can hang that on the wall. Or, of course, they do sell... There is an accessory that'll let you put that on a shelf somewhere and we will put it on a shelf soon and I'll uh, show you a little bit about how it works but if we just have a quick look you'll see there's no camera on here um, there are really only a couple of buttons you've got a, a mute button and uh, volume keys so when you're talking to Alexa if you don't want to talk to it you can mute it and if you want to hear it a bit louder you can turn it up and turn it down and really that's kind of all there is to it. Uh, so what does it do? What's it for? And how is it different from those uh, other smart speakers which we are already pretty familiar with? Let's uh, plug it in, fire it up and find out. Okay, so I'm just over the other side of the room here and I'm just going to sneak up on the Echo Hub uh, because this is what it does when the screen's idle or what I've set it up to do is to have a, a little uh, photo montage in a clock. Uh, but yeah, now the uh, motion sensor has sensed that I am uh, close to it. No camera on this device, only a motion sensor. Um, so it knows that I'm here and now it's showing me the home screen with all the widgets and things which I'll get to in a minute. Uh, but first I just wanted to show you how I was just saying before that this is uh, not really an echo uh, speaker as we've known them in the past, a smart speaker. It's just a smart home controller. Uh, there, there is a speaker on it, um, and you know this is what it sounds like. So it's a little bit tinny. Uh, there are volume controls on the side. Doesn't actually get that loud, and it doesn't get, actually get much less tinny. Uh, even if you go into the audio settings and fiddle around with the bass and the treble and stuff like that, there just isn't really any bass to it. But that's all right, it's not designed uh, to do that. Uh, so it's designed to be paired with something like this, the fifth generation uh, Echo Dot, for example. Alexa, move the music to Dot 5. Moving Spotify to downstairs Echo Dot. So we'll talk more about this um, device in a future review, but already you can hear that it's a fuller sound even from such a little speaker. And as you can see, you've got this quite cool LED display that actually shows what's playing. So that could become your, uh, your go-to um, speaker if you like. Um, and you can set that as your default speaker uh, you know, for this device. So anytime you want to play music, that speaker, you compare two of these together, it's um, compatible uh, with uh, other Echo Dots uh, as, as well. Uh, so um, yeah, uh, that actually will make quite a good little sound system. Uh, or you could go one step further. Boom. So here we have uh, another option. So uh, just because uh, we're all in the Alexa slash Echo 
slash uh, Amazon ecosystem now. It doesn't mean that we have to use an Echo speaker at all. Uh, this is a JBL Authentix 500. It happens to be my favorite uh, Bluetooth slash Wi-Fi speaker and it is Alexa enabled. So it means that we can set that as the default speaker uh, to play music if you ask music to be played uh, from the uh, Echo Hub here. So let's give that a go. Alexa, play In the Summertime by Thirsty Merc. In the Summertime, single version by Thirsty Merc. So as you can hear, The hub uh, replied to me with the music uh, then played from the speaker. Uh, so that's quite useful uh, when you think about it. Because, uh, yeah, and as you can tell, it's a much bigger sound. Uh, but yeah, that's, that can be quite useful because, uh, uh, you know, obviously you don't have to have uh, the hub anywhere near the speaker. As long as they're all on the same Wi-Fi network, it'll it'll still work. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Alexa, pause the music. Okay. Uh, so uh, the only thing uh, with that is that uh, when you pull up this uh, active media list, it'll show you uh, everything that you're playing on all the different speakers around the house. So that's quite cool, and you can control that uh, as well. Uh, but you don't get that um, cool now playing uh, screen that we had before when I was playing it just from the, the device. I don't know why you can't have that, but for some reason you just can't. Or if you can, I haven't figured out how to do it. Um, so anyway, uh, let's have a look at... Uh, so that's music aside. This is not really a music device, but I just wanted to show you uh, what anyway, some of the options were. Uh, the real beauty of this device is that now, uh, you, just because I'm the one who does all the tech support in our house, uh, doesn't mean that I have to control anything in the house anymore. And that's always a point of frustration with various people in the house. You know, they want the lights on and off. Uh, they want, you know, to see the doorbell, uh, all that stuff. Uh, how do they do it? They never know, you know, which virtual assistant they are talking to or what they're supposed to be doing. This makes it so much easier because we've got a clear control panel here. And so because I've put this in a sort of a central area for the family, we've got the family calendar on here. So Macy's got a lashes appointment. You're really getting an insight here. Uh, Linda's got a haircut coming up. And it looks like there's an exam coming up as well there as well. Um, so, and we can do things like um, and as you can see, there's a little bit of lag there on the on the screen sometimes. Uh, don't expect this to work, you know, like a whizzy tablet with a fast chip in it, uh, but it still is uh, pretty cool. So, I mean, what, what can you do with that information? Well, you can do things like Alexa, add a sticky note. Okay, what should the sticky note say? Don't forget Macy's hair appointment. Okay, I've saved your sticky note. Okay, so there you go, that just makes it even uh, more obvious. Weirdly though, you can't seem to do anything with that. So that's a kind of a dumb widget. So once it's there, it seems to be very hard to get rid of. So let's just get rid of it that way. Uh, this is this whole feeling with this device is that uh, it's like good things are coming, but we're not quite there yet. Uh, and that could be true here uh, with our uh, camera widget. So this is really cool. You can add all the different cameras around the house and I've got various cameras. I've got uh, Ring cameras, I've got D-Link cameras, I've got uh, Google cameras, uh, Google Nest cameras. Uh, some of them work better with this system than others. So uh, for example, we can just uh, have a look at, see who's at the door. Um, and so uh, it's just opening the, the Ring skill there and we can double tap on that and you get a slightly wider view and then we can see the doorbell and yep we can even uh, talk to them if we want to you know touch that mic button there uh, so yeah that's that's really cool and in fact uh, we can do a sort of a you know a multi closed circuit uh, a myriad display if you like uh, have a look at all the whole lot of different cameras but I have found that sometimes this works and sometimes it doesn't and you never know which camera is going to come up and which one isn't in this case. Oh no, they've all come up this time. Uh, some took longer than others, who knows why. Um, 
Uh, so, yep, so there's the ring one and the doorbell. That's a D-Link one, that's a D-Link one, that's a ring one on the gate. So, um, yeah, that's quite cool. But now that one's just mysteriously disappeared. Who knows why? Not me. I don't know why. Alexa, show me the home page. Right. Um, and of course, uh, we can have like a weather forecast and things like that as well. And uh, we can control the uh, air conditioners. There they are. Um, and uh, we can also uh, bring up all the lights in the house. Um, so that's pretty cool too. Um, so yeah, basically that just makes it really, really easy to access those things. People still like to have a sort of a hands-on control panel and it is one that you can talk to as well. So um, thanks to uh, Matter especially, which is you know this wireless protocol that everything is supposed to be based on now, but yeah, um, don't, don't get too excited. Uh, Alexa isn't, is still not talking to any Apple devices yet, but uh, maybe that'll come. Uh, there are devices that will talk to Apple and Alexa as well. For example, Alexa, change the dining room lights to red. And there we go, those hue ones went first and then the ye light ones went second. So I've got a row of hue, hue lights there and a row of uh, ye lights uh, up there as well. Uh, so, uh, you know, there's a lot that you can control. You can control your smart plugs, uh, your security system. It's just depending on how compatible uh, with the, uh, the, the, um, the Amazon and the, the Echo and the Alexa ecosystem it is. And as I say, most things are, uh, you've just got a few things that are still walled off, uh, uh, but they, they, they seem to be getting closer and closer and closer all the time. And hopefully there will come a time soon uh, when uh, yeah, you, know, you can connect not just uh, you know, a JBL speaker like this, but perhaps uh, an Apple HomePod. Uh, I mean, as it is, uh, you can actually, uh, if you link your Apple Music account uh, to your Alexa account, you can actually play what you've just been listening to on Apple Music. Alexa, play Apple Music? Apple Music is not supported on this device. Ah, that's because JBL doesn't talk to Apple. If I want to just play it on this, it will. Oh well, one day.